my heart really broke when they told me, you know, if, like a possibility of going blind, even if it wasn't in the next few years, like during my youth, um, it would eventually affect me maybe at 60 plus, like I could potentially be blind. And just to think that, like, it made me so sad that I told you, I was like, you have to take me to see the world before I go blind. Like, I kid you not, I said that to him. And guess what? He booked two trips, like, within that weekend. And I just felt, like, so emotional that he did that. Um, because I just love him. <laughs> hello welcome back to a new video so um i want to vlog today i'm doing a couple of things and i just want to record this video um, so you can tag along with me on my normal day to day so today i actually have an online class um to attend so that's what i'm going to be starting with this morning as I do that, I'm logging in right now. As I do that, uh, pretty much my six-year-old, the one that's going to help us with uh, the baby because Leo's working from home as well. We're all working from home. But he's still working until this afternoon. And then I have this class to take. My mom, unfortunately, couldn't come help us today. So that leaves me to kind of just, you know, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. <laughs> because um pixie will be the one kind of helping us out with the baby um and this is the main reason why i wanted that room that i made for her because i know that that's a safe area for her to stay in and then as long as pixie kind of keeps an eye on her let us know she's good and you know we can see her and then we're still able to do our jobs so um yeah today is a busy day um after my class I have to uh, go to an appointment to my eye doctor. So um, story time. Oh, actually, let me make my morning um, shake for today. Because, oh my gosh, so I recently got me these cups and I love, it's the blender bottle. But then if, you, if you've ever gotten one of these, you know that this is like different from the, this, this is like the, what is it? Classic style or whatever, this one. Well, I wanted to get one this size, I ordered it, but then I saw this and it's pretty much my favorite. I just love um, the lid. I'm gonna show you in a minute. I love that lid that it comes with. It's so comfortable around the lip area. Like when you actually take a drink, it's really comfortable. Let me show you. Okay. So look, let me show you. Look at this. You see these little things on the side right here? That's what makes it comfortable when you when you drink from it. And then this is a screw on, like a bottle cap, you know? And then you just put it on. And this is different. This is like um like it has a rubber coating on it and this is just plastic see and then this is just a like a cap clip on kind of thing yeah that's all you do it also comes with the ring or whatever the holder but this is just regular you know plastic and it doesn't have the comf comfortable side thingies that i'm talking about let me show you you see these side things on this one? And then the simple rubber coating that it comes with, it's awesome. Like, I'm not kidding you, I love it. And this one's $6, this one is 10, so I definitely worth it, just a couple more bucks. And then you get the the beautiful design because it's just real cute the way that it, the way that it is. Um, it comes with the numbers on the side as well, but then just the shape of it, I love it. And then the ring, this one also has it, the holder, it's hidden in there, see? I just love it, I love it. And the reason why I got these, because I started doing more of nutritional shakes and stuff. Um, but what I noticed is that I was using my blender like every single day, every single day, twice, three times a day. And I was like, there's gotta be an easier way. And then eventually my blender kind of broke down on me because I was using it that much. And then also it's like a 
five plus year old blender. So it was time to upgrade. And then, um, so I bought me these and this is so much better for the shakes. Just so much better, it saved me so much time. And then I was finding myself also like the kids were asleep and then I would do my shakes. I was like trying to cover up the blender to not make noise. So these, they're not that noisy. So I, I really like this. All right, so let's get. situated. I already talked to her. I already told you what she said. So it's still like another 30 minutes for my class. So I'm good on that. And then, like I said, I have an appointment coming up this afternoon. So I want to talk about that because it's something important um, for me and something that kind of uh, it gets me a little emotional like um, when I first found out about this so anyway let me tell you we were out in Florida for a couple weeks ago uh, just family and hanging out at the beach whatever so where we're from you know we don't have a beach that we just normally go to so I'm not experienced with beaches um, so my smart self was wearing my glasses inside like the ocean so I didn't know that potentially the waves can just like knock you out or knock you and, you know, your glasses will be gone. And that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> as much experience as I have with glasses, I don't really have experience with glasses inside the ocean. And then um, I haven't had any contacts for a couple months now. So I'm kind of just relying on my glasses. Long story short, I lost my glasses during one of those waves, uh, which was definitely worth it because I love the ocean and it was beautiful. We enjoyed ourselves, um, but I lost them. So I had to kind of find an emergency like doctor who will, the fastest way to do it is get contacts because sometimes they'll have the sample contacts there immediately for use. So you have to get an exam for contact lenses instead of the regular eyeglasses. Me, I haven't had contact lenses exam for a, a while, so I didn't have anything to provide to them to get it done. Um, I only had my contact, my actual glasses um, prescription, but if you know about glasses, you know they take a few days to order them specifically for your your issue, you know? So anyway, the fastest thing was to get contacts that day. I, I was so lucky to find a doctor that um, even took me in, you guys, after I was late to the appointment. He was already closed down, and this man had to, like, do clerical work for me. He was, you know, like, doing the paperwork and uh, taking my payment and all those things, which, like, I just truly, truly appreciate and I'm grateful for. Um, so anyway, he did the exam for the contact lenses, and during that exam, he mentioned that I that he suggested for me to get in touch with a local doctor out here because he saw early signs of glaucoma. If you are not familiar with glaucoma, this is pretty much like the number one disease, eye disease that causes blindness. Yes, like it's that serious. So I was kind of like, um, okay. <laughs> Um, he was able to refer me to a local doctor in my area. So when I got back home, I scheduled that and this, that's the appointment I'm going to today. So it's more of a, a screening to see if that's something that I need to be looking into. At this point, I don't doubt that I potentially have that. Um, like I'm sure he saw like early signs of it. Um, so at this point, I kind of just want to know, like, what can we do? Because this is something that there's no cure for it. So I'll have to pretty much just live with it the rest of my life. Um, what there is, however, is like treatments or um, just something that you have to keep up with, whether it's eye drops. I don't know. That's what I'm about to find out today. Obviously, I've done my research. Like everybody, you know, as soon as you find out about something, you start Googling and, and Google will diagnose you. So that's kind of like what I've been doing, um, just doing my research as far as the testing, treatment options and all that. Actually, just a little uh, backstory as far as why I was late to the doctor in Florida. Um, I was doing a closing for a client that day. Uh, we were virtually like talking to each other on video call um, and I helped him do the closing all the way from Florida to him here in Houston, Texas. 
And this was like the first virtual, like my official virtual closing where I wasn't there in physically, but we were still able to successfully do it. And I, it was so exciting. Like I was so excited and I couldn't even believe that I was on vacation working at the same time. And the process was just so smooth and so simple and everyone was happy. Um, so I'm going to be sharing that vlog with you because I did, um, uh, record on that day and it's just really exciting like to see how how our work is moving virtually uh, and it's kind of futuristic sort of just waiting on the doctor to go for my test that they just did and um, we'll see you know what the update is Guess what? So I don't have glaucoma. Woo woo. Um, so the main thing that they look at is the nerve size, which like from the number 10 is Girl, I think you might you're pretty much blind. Um mine are at a seven, which is why they were very concerned. Because obviously, like seven you know, and then 10, you're completely blind. That's concerning. But, um, you know, that's not the only thing that they look at when you have glaucoma. So they, they ran some other tests and I passed them all flying colors, which is awesome news. Um, but they still do recommend, oh my God, I think I spit out. I'm extra excited. <laughs> my mouth water. <laughs> um, so they, uh, he did recommend that I come, um, the way he's looking at my numbers and all the tests and stuff he says every two years however there's people that are recommended to check yearly even every three months and stuff so as of now my next checkup would be in two years um every year though i i get checked for my eyes like the you know if my prescription changes um but as far as glaucoma screening would be every two years for me so i'm excited my eyes are healthy i guess you could say you know um, i've always uh, needed glasses since i can remember so i'm sort of used used to um doing that you know just wearing glasses or my contacts um however one thing that i did tell leo when i first found out because i was like my heart really broke when they told me you know if, like a possibility of going blind even if it wasn't in the next few years like during my youth um, it would eventually affect me maybe at 60 plus like I could potentially be blind and Just to think that like it made me so sad that I told you I was like you have to take me to see the world before I go blind Like I kid you not I said that to him and guess what he booked two trips like within that weekend and I just felt like so emotional that he did that um, because I just love him <laughs> and he loves me back so I don't know I'm, I'm so glad that everything is good like I'm, I'm so excited uh, I'm super excited that we have those two trips coming up <laughs> but this was definitely like one of those life moments that um, I'm thankful for going to the doctor checking up on myself uh, staying up to date with all those things because um, you know if we missed this and and it was something that will Pretty much progress as the time goes by like you know it'll affect me even more so I'm just so thankful I'm very thankful <laughs>